Hello, so this is going to be a lesson on Bo Carter's great song called All Around Man. The tuning for this song is standard tuning and the strings will be E, A, D, G, B, E. I've detuned my guitar by a whole step just to lessen the tension and so I've capoed up to the second fret. But if you've got your guitar in the normal tuning, you won't really have to do anything. So what I'll do is start with the song's intro and then get into what he plays after that. I'll just go through the intro once. So overall, what he'll kind of play on, the way he'll seem to play is just very crisp, r really crisp notes, a lot more crisp than how I'm doing them on the treble side. And on the treble side, every note that he hits will kind of have a kind of pickup into it. So it's like, and that kind of adds a bit of like a rhythmic sort of punch and that extra crispness to it. It's not just it's like and so the way that he'll kind of accomplish that is by using one of these old blues chord shapes that you'll that you'll see everywhere from Charlie Patton to Robert Johnson, etc. So, a bar across the seventh fret for you, not for me. And then, what he'll do to kind of get that do di do di da, do di do di da, is he'll start with the second string, sweeping across on that and then hit the 8th fret of the top string. So you'll have to add that on top of the bar. And then you'll retreat back to the 2nd string. And then you'll hit the top note of the bar. And then you'll hit the 10th fret of the 2nd string. So you'll, you can hear that rhythm. And so, yeah, just trying to get the timing of that really even and crisp and the sound of the guitar, like, yeah, it's just, the, that's kind of the, where the trickiness and the, the time, a lot of the time might go. Now on the bass side, all he'll kind of be doing is hitting a very steady 5th string open. Like that. But the timing of that is all really huge because it adds all that. So you can see he kind of plays it twice. And then he repeats now. So this is the second time. So it's like... Uh, let me try it again. Anyways, so what I'm trying to get at basically is that he'll kind of do this bass note between and so what that bass kind of thing is is the he'll hit the eighth fret of the fifth string and then move up to the ninth fret 
And now if you wanted to kind of add a little bit more beef to that, then you then just know that all he's doing is taking that same bar, but now finishing a bit more of the chord. This is the bar. He's just adding that ninth fret to that bar across the second, top four strings on the seventh fret. And then, all he's doing is now taking that, moving it down one fret, and then coming back up. So that's all that is. So on the, on the four chord then, That's really it, and really, that's almost the rest of the entire intro, because all he'll do is sort of move that chord around. So now moving that down to the seventh, the bar down to the second string, top four strings, it's the same move, same bass note as well, actually. It's just a bit more of a stretch since the frets will be farther apart, but you'll still be hitting that. And it'll be that same pickup. So it's. Uh, and he'll actually only play it like that, and then he'll go straight to the 5 chord, where he'll do the same move, but now the bar is across the ninth fret. And now actually I think he'll move the bass note to the 4th string open, or sorry, 4th string of the bar. And then the 4 chord, bass note on the 5th string open now. Yeah, so it's just kind of getting that crispness, and also like a, if you listen to the lyrics, you can hear it's like super mischievous and like, yeah, it's like kind of like wily and stuff like that. So, kind of getting that out in the notes, I think, is like... But you can kind of hear he does like all these... Like he'll do these slides and it kind of adds this sort of like smoothness to it. And then you get the crisp notes and the, all that even timing of the notes that he, he does. And yeah, so, but yeah, that's pretty much the intro. And now getting into what he plays while he sings, I'll try and do my best to sort of like try and copy it. But here's, here's something. like when he starts out on the one chord he kind of plays it a little bit more subtly he'll play it more subtly and he'll kind of seem to do these pickups from the sixth string into the fifth string stick to, to make it more subtle, he'll stick to the treble side notes being more so across the second string or below. Not so much those notes. But that's kind of what the one chord seems to be. 
and then you'll hear that that note really it kind of complements the way he'll sing the verses so yeah but fortunately that start to the one chord with the one chord isn't too anything too crazy and similarly when he goes to the four chord now Kind of like what you'll see Robert Johnson use on some of his songs, like 3220 Blues. Where you've got this reach around chord, 2nd fret of the bottom string with the thumb, 2nd fret of the 3rd string, 1st fret of the 2nd string. And on the bass side you'll just hit that. And then on the treble side you can sweep across the 2nd string. hammer-ons into that first fret of the second string. So like... like some, something like that. And then so on the one chord... back into the one chord it's a bit more of that treble note stuff coming out in fact on that bar second fret top four strings he'll actually at this point most of the time add this fifth fret of the top string to the chord which is something that you can do as well. And then on the, now getting into the turnaround, almost to the end of the song. So it seems like he'll do two things. He'll do this. And then he'll do this. like a finger style thing if that's what he plays but mainly he seems to kind of emphasize the first fret of the bottom string or sorry first fret of the third string third fret of the second string second fret of the fourth string is going to be the bass note but it's like an e7 chord with no fifth omitting the fifth string and then you'll have alternating an alternating bass between the bottom and fourth string and then I think maybe something like hammering into the third string first fret and then top string open fourth string and then third fret of the second string first part, then the second part. I think maybe something like that. Where you can hit the third fret of the fourth string, then the bottom string open, and then hammer into the fourth fret of the, the fourth string. And then the second fret of the third string. Bottom string open, fifth fret of the fourth string, uh, fifth fret of the third string, bottom string open, fourth fret of the third string, bottom string open, second fret of the third string, 
fifth string open. So again. And then and then you can get right back into this. same pickup which I actually forgot. Hopefully that kind of gives a, an idea of what Bo Carter will do on All Around Man. Really great song, and yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Hope it helped, and uh, see you later.